One year ago, Assad launched His right eye looks crazy. a savage chemical weapons attack. Oh yeah, the last three were staged. His God. own oh. innocent people. And he used to. I mean, look, he, he knows all this. He tweeted about it. Don't go into Syria. Don't go into Syria. Let's go back. Back it up. I'm great, but I'm interrupting. Back it up to start. Man, I, I'm just done, man. I'm done. There's no proof. Show it. Show it, you goddamn liar. Excuse me. I'm just. It's true, man. The Russians came in there at our behest. They defeated ISIS. They did 90% of the work. I'm not a Russophile. I'm a truthophile. That happened. ISIS is running around. Europe's open to the Muslims. Russia's fighting it. And he just says Russia did the chemical attack. That is a lie. This is the first time I've seen Trump because everywhere I check it, it you know, he's all right. He, what the hell, Owen? I don't know. I, I, I don't think he believes what he just said. I don't think for one second he believes that. How could well, he show me the that? proof, asshole. Well, you're now the butt boy of Al-Qaeda Trump. You now give them fluffer, you know, services. I mean, I'm serious. I will not sell out the truth. I will not sell out who I am. So screw you. Oh, and I'm serious, man. This is BS. I'm really freaking pissed right now. Maybe Trump in three or four days will disprove us. Maybe there's some weird wrinkle I don't get, but blowing up a bunch of Russians and Syrians that have fought so hard makes me feel like a piece of crap, man. The I feel like a piece of filth right now. I feel like filth. I feel like filth. I never feel like filth. I don't like feeling like filth. I've given up everything in my life to be a good person, and I did everything for this guy, and now he has sold us out. What the hell, man? Are we making a big deal out of this? Is it no big deal? Is it the fall of Trump? What does this signify, Joel Skousen? Well, Alex, it's good to be with you again on this uh, momentous and very, very, very sad day. Um, as I pointed out in my World Affairs brief today, I believe that Trump has just uh, been snookered, uh, frankly. He said, you cannot tell me that Assad who just a, uh, a week prior that uh, the Donald Trump was going to pull out of Syria, that he would pull a chemical attack and ruin the whole thing uh, and all of his chances of peace. I mean, this is, he'd have to be insane to do this. And he was absolutely exactly right. Exactly. This is common sense. So what is going on, Joel? I mean, uh, we're defeating ISIS. It's happening. It's a great victory. Trump says we're pulling out. The Russians are pulling out. Peace is breaking out. And this happens. I want to support the president, but my God, how did they get him to do this? Well, in the first place, the, Trump doesn't ever do his homework. He doesn't ever do anything. He, he, at best, he watches television and he gets briefings by the CIA, the daily briefings, and they're full of propaganda and they never tell the truth about the deep state, the dark side of government. Control and that's why ISIS. they work so hard to keep your show and my show, which is, I'm not bragging, it's true. You're right. They work to keep our briefings from him because he would actually does the right thing when he gets the briefing, but he's not getting the briefing. That's right. He isn't getting the information. He doesn't have the background. He doesn't have the military background to counter the very sophisticated excuses that they give him. And when they come up with some false intelligence uh, saying that they've got proof that Assad did this, and I know they don't have the proof. There's just no way that Assad would do this. And we know that the rebels have done this last year in April 2017. Three times. I couldn't believe it. And the left pushing Trump, saying he's a Russian agent. This is as insane. This is insane. You see, if Trump had the wherewithal to counter this, he wouldn't be so subject to manipulation. The fact that he could be turned around with such a false flag, bogus intelligence indicates that this man is very, very weak. I don't think that they've got dirt on him. I mean, they've got plenty of dirt on him. I mean, he's had multiple affairs. He said it was not just Stormy Daniels. He's paid off all kinds of people. And that was one of the reasons for the Cohen raid, was to get the dirt on Trump to prove that no, fact, I agree. He He's not a bad person. He cares about America, but he is fundamentally weak. That's right. He's fundamentally flawed and weak. But here's the case with the Russians. And I have to strongly disagree with your previous guest. I do not believe that this is going to escalate. I think the Russians were assured by the United States that we're going to do a one-time strike. We're not going oh, to Oh, just like last year. Though They were told it was coming. That's right. The fact that the Russians didn't even attempt to shoot down with their S-400 systems any of these cruise missiles indicates that they were flat standing down 
and that they do not now. They have said. I can't lie to my audience. I, you know, this is such compromise that I didn't like Bush. I didn't like any of these people. I committed to Trump. And he was so good so long, but I agree with you. It shows true weakness. What I respect you as a wise man. What should we be doing right now? Because I don't want the Democrats to win the midterms. I don't want to turn against Trump, but God almighty, he's going to start World War III. I, I just, is he my enemy is what I'm saying. I, I just, I cannot stand this crap. I don't think Trump is the enemy. I don't think he's ever crossed over to the other side. I think he's still being manipulated because of his weaknesses. Um, I don't support Trump any longer because I've lost total confidence in his ability to hold the line. He simply cannot hold the line because he doesn't have the wherewithal to argue. That's why he's compromising on TPP. No, I agree. He cares too much about mainstream media. He just, he's a good person, but he cannot hold the line. He relishes getting praised by people. He's subject to flattery, and that's a very, very serious weakness. He He's not going to help us. He's not going to drain the swamp. Well, I am not optimistic. Our ability to the deep state is far more dangerous and and deep within the government and all of the agencies than we've ever imagined. This, this, this is a hominid speech. This, this, this is a hominid speech.